Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 7 triangles and in today's class we will uh, learn some important properties of triangles starting with that of isosceles triangle. So what do we know about isosceles triangle? If I have a triangle A, B, C when will it be isosceles? When any of the two sides are equal. So here I'm saying that AB is equal to AC. Even if I would have taken AB is equal to BC or BC is equal to AC, any two sides that are equal uh, for a triangle, the triangle is known as isosceles. So, triangle is a triangle that has any two sides equal. Right. So, what can you say about the angles of a uh, angles opposite to the opposite sides? See, angles opposite to the equal sides. You will notice that these are equal. What you what you can do is take two isosceles triangle with same sides. So, let's say I call this PQR. wherein PQ is equal to QR, if this is 5 units and this is also 5 units, that is AB is equal to AC is equal to PQ is equal to PR, when you superimpose, when you place any one of these triangles one on top of the other, they will completely overlap. This one I know is looking a little small, so let me just redraw it so that they look equal. So I have P, Q, R, 5 units and 5 units. These both triangles are equal, right? You will notice that the angles are equal. If you take the measure here, if you measure this angle and you measure this angle, if this is supposed to 60 degrees, this will also be 60 degrees. This will be 60 degrees and this will also be 60 degrees, right? So this is just an example for superimposition, but we are just going to look at the opposite angles of the isosceles triangle, so angles that are opposite to the equal sides. So based on this, we have theorem 7.2 in your textbooks. What does it state? Angles opposite to equal sides of isosceles triangle are equal. So let us go ahead and prove this theorem. What I will do is I will take into consideration my triangle ABC itself. It is given that AB is equal to AC. I need to prove that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. So how are we going to prove that? We will draw the bisector of angle BAC or angle CAB. So the bisector of angle A. So if I say that AD, D is lying on the line segment BC. So AD is the bisector of side BC, uh, of your angle A then these two angles are equal, right? Which are the two angles? BAD is equal to CAD. So now if you take two triangles from this triangle, that is BAD and CAD, you have these two sides equal, which is given. You have equal angles because AD is the bisector of angle A and this is the common side, right? The common side here. Therefore, these two triangles, that is BAD and CAD, are congruent by the SAS test. You have side, angle and side. Now once you prove that these two triangles are congruent, what can you say? That angle BAC is equal to angle, uh, sorry, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB, right? So ABD is equal to ACD, but we can extend the point D until C. So angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. But these are uh, according to corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But these are the angles opposite to the equal sides. Therefore, what can we say about isosceles triangles? That angles opposite to equal sides of isosceles triangles are equal. Now let's go ahead and prove this. It is important that you draw this diagram also. I have kept it on that side of the board. Here we will just do the proof. So I'll say given 
ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equal to AC. We need to or I will just say to prove that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. So, I will say, I will start from here my proof. I will say draw bisector of angle A and let this bisector intersect BC at point D. Correct? Now, since AD is the bisector of angle A, therefore, what do I have? Therefore, angle BAC, sorry, BAD is equal to angle CAD. See the order in which I am going. Since I am going from the angle to ang this angle A to D, I will go wise this way, right? So, I am not going to go B A D and D A C, I am going to go B A D and C A D, which is what we have over here. I will mark this as 1. Now, in triangle B A D and triangle C A D, I will rewrite this angle B A D is equal to angle CAD from 1. Correct? Then I have AB is equal to, sorry, AD is equal to AB. Hang on, BAD. So AB is equal to AD. AB is equal to AC. This is given. Here we have it. AB is equal to AC. Also, AD is equal to AD, which is the common side. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, triangle BAD is congruent to triangle CAD by SAS test, SAS test of congruence which is side angle side test of congruence. Let us continue on this side of the board, therefore what can I say, therefore angle ABC is equal to angle ACD, ABD is equal to angle ACD, why they are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Let us rewrite ABD as ABC because we instead of just saying ABD, I am saying ABC since D lies on the line segment BC, correct? So, I will write therefore angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. This is similar to what we did here. Instead of ABD, I took ABC. So, instead of ACD, I am taking ACB because D lies on the line segment BC. Correct? Isn't this what we had to prove? So, I will say hence proved, therefore, or you can just say hence proved. So, you can write either hence proved or you can write this entire statement. Therefore, angles opposite to equal sides of isosceles triangle are equal. So, now this was about angles opposite to the is, uh, equal sides of isosceles triangle, right? But what if you have been given the case vice versa? That is, now we are going to check for the converse. If I have a triangle ABC in which angle ABC is equal to angle ACB, you need to prove that these two sides are equal. So, obviously, you can prove the theorem once again. We will write the theorem, but let us see the proof first. 
I'll draw the bisector of A once again. Therefore, these two angles are equal and also this side is common. So, in these two triangles, what do I have? That is angle ABD and angle ACD. I have this as the common side. These two angles are equal because AD is the bisector of angle A and angle B is equal to angle C which is given. Right? Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by ASA or AAS test of congruence. You can't say ASA because the side is not lying between the two angles. So, it is AAS uh, test of congruence. Therefore, what can you say? That AB is equal to AC by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Right? So, let us write down the theorem. This would be theorem 7.3. sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal. Let us just confirm the statement with the textbook. So, I will just check this in my textbook as well. Sides, uh, the sides opposite to equal angles of a triangle are equal. This proof has not been given in your textbooks, however, we will go ahead and prove it. So, I will say given, let us draw a diagram also, A, B, C, so given in triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Okay, you need to prove that AB is equal to AC. So I'll say proof. Draw bisector of angle A and let it meet or let it intersect BC at point D. Correct? Then I will say in triangle ABD and triangle ACD, what do I have? I have AB, uh, sorry, AD is equal to AD, which is the common side. Also, I have angle ABC is equal to angle ACD, which is given. Then I have angle A, uh, BAD is equal to angle CAD. Why? Because AD bisects angle A. Therefore, what can I say? Therefore, triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD by AAS test. AS test. Therefore, what can I say? That AB is equal to AC by corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Hence proved. Now, two things we need to notice over here is that, first of all, if you see these two theorems, what I have done here is, I just mentioned that AD bisects angle A directly while proving the two triangles congruent. What you could do is something like this that we did over here that draw the bisector therefore BAD is equal to CAD and mark it as 1 and then give the reference later. Another thing is that here I have ABC is equal to instead of writing ABC we, ha we will write ABD and your ACD but given that word given that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. 
So if you notice, ABC is the same as ABD. C because D lies on the line BC. Point D lies on the line segment BC, and similarly, ACD is the same thing as ACB. Notice ACD is equal to ACB, right? So al although we've been given that ABC is equal to ACB, we are writing ABD is equal to ACD. Why? Because we are proving the congruency of these triangles. So if I'm taking into consideration triangle BAD, then obviously I cannot mention the point C over here, right? That's why I have altered ABC to ABD. Similarly, when I'm considering triangle ACD, I'm going to consider angle ACD, right? Because I cannot take B. That's why we have altered ACB to ABD. So this was about the two theorems before we proceed with the solved examples and the exercise 7.2. Let's take a look at that in the next class. Thank you. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.